massacres, rape, abduction, and looting have been the main features of the war on Tigray. The following is testimony of residents of Tsalimoy, a village in western Tigray that had been under the hostile occupation of Ethiopian forces and the Fano Vigilante group for more than a year. The village has recently been recaptured by the Tigray Armed Forces after the resumption of the war on Tigray by the Ethiopian government and its allies on August 21st of 2022. The residents say many people from their neighborhood had been murdered in their homes for the reason that they are Tigrayans. Many elders, even older than 85 years, were murdered at their bed and some of them were even killed and their neck was hung upon their door front as a flag. They stopped many nuns under their breast and left them there to die. Their action clearly proved that they want to exterminate the people and take away the land. <laughs> Elders were gunned down, stopped by a knife at their home while they were praying. There also are abducted people. They are lost from their neighborhood and we have no idea where they are now. What the invaders did to this village is beyond description. The residents also say that not only did the Allied invaders took the lives of many innocents, but also slaughtered many animals brutally. During the last two weeks, 80 livestock that belonged to the neighborhood were slaughtered in a brutal way and taken away by the invading forces. Last year, elderly people were killed, our livestock slaughtered, and our donkeys were killed. As the atrocities committed on different parts of Tigray kept unfolding, the world is witnessing terrifying stories of violence. The question remains, how many lives would it really be enough to wake up the world and take action?